I was told uh, to record the next time I got online because I was left a gift outside my house uh, somewhere. So let's go look. Actually, let's sleep first. Uh, oh yeah, new skin by the way. Let me show that real quick. Because, you know, my favorite game ever, my favorite game series ever is Zelda, so, uh, The Legend of Zelda, so. Went ahead and went with a Link skin. I saw it on a video somewhere, and I thought it was really cool. Uh, it looks like that's the gift right there. I'm scared. I think it's going to blow stuff up. But uh, we'll do it anyways. Click for present. This took a long time to make, so please record. Oh, God. You son of a freaking... <laughs> I knew it, dude. I knew it was going to be a freaking TNT bomb. I respect it, dude. Oh my god, at least he didn't at least he didn't wire it up somewhere else. You know what I mean? Um that that really got me on edge. That got my heart going. Okay, let me throw my armor back on and I'm going to show y'all what I've been working on on stream uh pretty often. I think we're going to go do some mining too. Um but I'm going to show y'all what I've been doing off camera. It's been a few weeks since I put a video up because I haven't had any content that I really liked. Super, super much, I don't know, super well. Um, right, so enchanting room, I'm still not there yet, like finishing it. Uh, this is a little stairway that leads up to the fish farm that Comer made for us, which I have the rod in my inventory right now. Uh, yeah, enchanting room, and then you go down here. I've got this on the side. I got the cocoa beans going for brown dye. Uh, there was a creeper in here the last time I came in. And I literally came down this tunnel and I stepped stepped out, didn't see anything, and I turned and started using one of these things. I don't remember which one it was, and it freaking blew up. But this was all that it blew up, and I don't know. Uh, all these chests for storage, my super smelter, nothing crazy. Uh, I think. Oh man, that was loud. I think um, there's like a ravine down here. If I break through this wall, there's a ravine. And I think I'm going to use it to my advantage to make uh, farms. So, um, since it's already like all dug out, I think I'm going to use it to make like um, dye farms or uh, like I need a cactus farm. So I can put one down there. Um, yeah, I need a few things really. Uh, it can be like, uh, I can put a cow, well, I guess I don't need a cow farm, but I can put a food farm down, I can put like wheat and stuff down there and make a bunch of automatic farms. Uh, that would, that's like my ideal plan. Um, I've had, I had a lot of ideas. I went on a trip to San Diego for like 10 days. I've been away from the computer. And uh, I just got back, and I, the whole time I was gone, I was thinking of stuff I can do to improve, uh, improve my livelihood on the server. Because uh, we've started out here in this uh, acacia forest, whatever it is. I don't, I don't know what you call it. Uh, like Sahara Desert slash acacia biome. Uh, we have started building a village, and I've. I've done some of it on stream.
just because it's like grind worthy stuff you know um it hasn't been anything like super crazy and it's just a repeating pattern i haven't done any um like i haven't built any of the houses or anything yet it's literally i've just been building a wall around the lake that's over here um so i feel like it hasn't constituted really making an entire video about it yet uh Yeah, so I've just been streaming it, and we got a uh, we got the spider farm up and going, which I don't know if that was in a video or not. I can't remember, <clears throat> uh, but it's kind of useless now because we have a skelly farm. I found literally like 40 blocks away, maybe from the spider spawner, there was a skeleton spawner, and uh, which is huge because that was the one thing that I needed for the build that I wanted to do out here was bone blocks. So I needed a ton of bone, and I was not about to stay up every night and just fight skeletons in the desert all of the freaking time. So it's pretty nice to have this uh, have this skeleton spawner. I mean, I haven't made it. I, I didn't make it as efficient as it could be. Uh, I was kind of on like a time crunch when I was building it, and now I'm too lazy to go back in and place torches and make it a little more. Uh, efficient but you basically got to hit the skeletons twice to kill them with a sword some of them die on one hit though which isn't bad so so I'm gonna show the uh, village that we've been working on and eventually all of this all of this village right here I'm gonna make it a live village like I'm gonna have villagers but all of this I'm gonna update all these buildings and make them the same as what I'm going to be building over here, kind of away. It's not away from the village, it's like right over this hill. But, um, yeah, I I'm going to make it all like a cohesive, similar area. So, this is it. This is like the, uh, the, what I've been working on so far is this wall, basically. I was experimenting right there with the different build ideas. Or like block ideas that's not how the buildings are gonna look but uh yeah as you can see I've made it all the way back over there and this has been probably about like 12 stacks of bone blocks so it's been a quite a process but uh, we're gonna have like a, a tunnel that goes through here and it will come out um, it'll come out like right over here around this area I might have like a little little peek through right here, but it's gonna come out over there on the other side of, of this like wall with the colon on it. Uh colon. With the colon on it. Um so yeah. It's gonna come out there and this is gonna wrap all the way around. As you can see we're using acacia logs as like the support with uh bone block as the background, acacia fences as like an accent with acacia tops on the uh, acacia logs. And then it's spruce planks to walk on. And I have to do a bunch of clearing out. But uh, on the, in this area right here where uh, there's not like land to build, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build houses into the side of this mountain and have a bunch of uh, walkways going around. Um, you have a bunch of walkways going around to... All the houses up on the mountain and then eventually there will be stuff like on top uh, but yeah this wraps all the way around which I didn't even finish this part because I didn't I guess I ran out I started over there but uh, over there you can see there's like a little tunnel type thing like a little cutout and what we're gonna do is the the wall is gonna go all the way back into there back into that little cove and all the way through back around this way but I am going to also put supports over those arches so that it looks, uh, you know, better. Uh, I think the other reason I didn't put anything here was because I wanted to keep this open, actually. I wanted to keep this like an open, uh, like an entrance. Maybe put like a farm back here or something. Um, I can't really remember why I left that out. It's, I mean, like I said, it's been so long already. Um that I have forgotten oh goodness but yeah and then we're gonna have to make a cut out to the ocean so that it all connects 
because I thought it I thought it connected out already. But I guess it did not. Um I'm gonna go okay. I'm gonna go down into this cave and show y'all the uh, skeleton spawner. And the spider spawner. Might as well. They're they're like right by each other. And what I like the the whole re whole reason I came out here to begin with was to mine for diamonds and I found this area and I really like the I really like the acacia wood uh, I like how it like pops on other colors um, so I was like oh well I'll build out here for sure so here's a spider spawner which doesn't really work the best I mean it's okay like we got a bunch of that stuff, but I mean it's nothing crazy. And it's a cave spider spawner, so they're really annoying. Um, but yeah, I came out here to mine for diamonds, and look, literally see the the skeleton spawners right here. And this is all spawn proof. Nothing can spawn here in this area. Not even back in here. So it's pretty nice, but yeah, I came out to this area to mine for, um, mine for diamonds, and I found that little village, and I was like, oh, that's cool. And then as I was out here, I kept finding stuff, and I just really liked how the acacia looked. So I decided, hey, you know, why not? I might as well, um, I might as well build out here. It's a pretty cool little area, and then there's some other people that I watch on, on the YouTube. That are that we're building in like an acacia area or with acacia wood and it really inspired me so I just kind of went with it and the reason I haven't made a video to do this is just because time constraints really I've got school starting back up I've been dealing with all that and it's just been easier to stream instead of like edit videos and stuff um, but as you can see we are stock full of arrows but now I don't need it because I've got an infinity bow AKA the Jizz Shooter. I forgot I named it that. We got Main Squeeze, which this is our main pickaxe for now. We gotta get Mending on it. Uh, we got Excalibur, Smite 4, which is meh. Knockback 2, Unbreaking 3, and Looting 2. That's the one that I really wanted on it. Uh, we got the Infinity Bow, and then this is our Fortune, which we got from Comer, which, you know. I paid him back, okay? I tried to pay him more than he wanted, but he wouldn't let me. Because I'm a good guy like that. So, yeah, I'll show you right quick. It's basically just, uh, hey, just two shots. And it's an easy XP farm, dude. Crazy stuff. But, alright, the main mission of this of my coming down here right now is not to sit at spawners it is to go mine for diamonds because we're getting low uh, we have a bunch of diamond stuff but we are getting low on diamond stuff as well so we're just gonna throw all this down How did I get five spider eyes? Uh, we just gotta remember that all this is in here. Um. Oh yeah, I got this fishing rod too. For the uh, fish farm. I mean, infinity, power four, and flame. That's a pretty solid... Pretty solid, solid, uh... Oh, I need torches. Hmm. I think I get... Well, do I have any right here? Oh, yeah. Uh, we'll keep... We'll keep the sticks on me. In case I need to make more, uh torches when I get down there so yeah all this stuff is kind of right here and my mine shaft is right here 
So that's why I really like this area, because everything's just right in this same area. Let's get out main squeeze and get ready to start mining. Minding my own business. Yeah, so I've marked a bunch of tunnels so I could go down here and mine. Uh, we got one, two. So I'm literally just going to do this for a little while and hopefully I can find some diamonds. It's been a hot minute since I found any. Get some XP, get close to enchant level, and then probably go... Then probably go, um back to the skelly spawner and get a bunch more levels and go enchant some stuff again I need to I got a few diamond armor at my house that has some stuff on it I think I have like protection four on it but I want to pimp them out before I start using them Got some, let's go. God, yes. All right, brother, let's get it. God, yes, dude. Yes. Got 29 now. I gotta do nine more. Let's go. I can repair all of my tools now, though. Show y'all how the super smelter works, even though I'm sure everyone knows that's watching this. Because who comes to a video like this and doesn't know how the how a super smelter works? Also, I forgot we have Silk Touch on an axe, 
And I know pickaxes work well with uh, coral, but I think I can use... Uh, I think I can use the Silk Touch Axe. Alright. So this is how the Super Smelter works. We got, this is our fuel. It's right here, so we're going to drop this in here. It gets sucked out by the Hopper Minecart. Boom. And then you step over here. This is what we want to get smelted. So we're going to add this stuff in there. Boom, it gets shipped out. And then we're going to send it until they... Yeah, for some reason this one doesn't work. It, it, takes, uh, it takes the coal... But it doesn't take the uh, other stuff. So I think what I'm going to do is just break this one out of here. Keep all the tracks the same up there. Break this one out. Move this dark oak over. And then put something else there. Like maybe... Um, yeah, I think we're good. So then when they're done, you just flick that off. And I'm going to make those, I have separate ones here soon. I actually wanted to do that today, but I got caught up doing diamonds. But I'm going to have a separate one that will just send out uh, the stuff I want to smelt. And then have another one, like a red or down here, that just sends out the uh, fuel. So yeah, uh, but I think I want to maybe, maybe put like a chest there or something. I don't know. It can't be a chest though, because then it would collect... Um, I don't know. I could, I could put like a crafting table there or something. Or just keep it decorative. I don't know. I mean, it's, it's not the most, uh, efficient, but it's, you know, it's way more efficient than what I was doing before. And the only thing that sucks is you don't get um, you don't get experience from it. So down here I'm gonna make make some doors wow my voice yeah while well, I'm down here I'm gonna make some doors for the uh, fish thing over there perfect okay this one's dark oak. We'll throw the dark oak back in there. And these are all done. So once this is done right here, I will show you. Okay, that's done. So now you go back in here. Boom. And you flick this lever. And it will send that out. That hopper mine cart and suck all of the stuff out from underneath and it deposits it there and it should only take one go through no it doesn't okay it takes multiple that's okay and then the chest is right here Once all of it gets flushed through the hopper, bow down and out. Whoa! And now we're gonna have a few more stacks of uh, of iron, a couple more stakes. 
So we got our iron and our uh, our fuel sources in here. Gold. I don't know what else you smelt. You can smelt uh Yeah, so see that's the only thing is it doesn't you don't get XP from doing it, but that's okay. Now that we have an XP farm, it doesn't matter. Um, so let's go back up to the enchanting room. Over yonder. Let's throw our diamonds in here. So now we have 50. Uh, let's throw the lapis in there. Yeah, as y'all can see, I've got a ton of... Uh, I want to put this in here. I got a ton of books, and they're not not all of them are good. I got Protection Three, Luck of the Sea One, Sharpness One, Protection Three. A lot of these are burners. Feather Falling One, Smite Four, Lure Two, Piercing Three, Feather Falling Three. Those are actually pretty good. Impaling Five, which I think is for the uh, Tridents, Sharpness Three, and Power Three, and Protection Three, and then this. Protection 4, Unbreaking 3, Thorns 2. I didn't want the Thorns on there, but I, I, I got it. Uh, and then Unbreaking 3 and Protection 4 on the Pants as well. Uh, so we're, I'm just trying to get those up because I have so much iron right now that I can I can worry about... Um, I can worry about getting like good enchants instead of having to... Instead of having to get, like, use it now, you know what I mean? So now I'm just going to stand here. I think is where I'm supposed to. Oh, wait, what did I do? Where did my. Where'd I put my freaking... Did I leave it all the way out? Oh my god. I left it all the way out there. Are you kidding me? Well, I shall be back. I knew I was going to leave it, man. Alright, let's go ahead and take this as well. Before I forget that I have these down here. I think that's going to do it for this episode, actually. So, um... Thank you so much thank you so much for watching my link outfit is so tight dude uh, thanks for watching uh, this is another episode of Minecraft from the TDoc server and I hope you have a good rest of your day everybody and I'll see you next time